Hi, Ryan here from Five to Go. Um, coming at you from uh, the roof. <laughs> we, uh, Aaron's down here laughing at me. In case you wonder what I'm looking at, say hi. hi. So uh, I am not up here for uh, recreation or uh, to have fun. Um, I am up here to fix a problem. We have two slides on this rig. One is a huge slide. I'm not exactly sure how long it is. It's at least 12 feet, might be 14. Uh, that's the living room slide, which is here. And then we have another slide where our bed is, which is there. And originally we were noticing some water issues. Uh, the water was coming down the side of the bedroom slide. And uh, we weren't sure why, because we have slide toppers. And, um, hey honey, what's the only thing I was worried about when buying this? Slide toppers. Slide toppers. Because guess what? Both of them have failed. So, yes, it is a 2016. So, uh, let me get through the trees here. It's a 2016, so these slide toppers have been sitting out in the weather for about five years now, because it was probably built in 2015. Um, but both of them have failed in the same way. It appears that they are old and stretched, and it got some. It rained a bit here in Virginia, and uh, the rain sat on top of the slide and kind of stretched it the one last time, and the slide toppers disconnected from the rig uh, in between the screws, and I'll show you that in just a second here. Uh, when I first noticed it, it was just on the bedroom slide, so I came up here, saw what was happening, measured it, and ordered some new fabric, and I'll just replace the fabric. Uh, but there's a three-week build time on that, so I'm going to have to wait to do that. Uh, so not a big deal, just annoying. So when we run the slide in, if it has rained, uh, there'll be a lot of water that comes in, so we're going to have to do something to deal with that. The other slide, however, a um, little bit more of an issue. That was not broken last week. So let's take a look at the bedroom slide real quick. So that Aaron has moved. The kids just got back from the pool. Uh, so... This is the screw that holds it in place, and then you can see the stitching. See that stitching there? I can see air, or I can see light through that stitch. That stitch is completely pulled out. And then here in the center, it's just completely detached. This should be folded over with a little rubber tube that holds it into the channel that's right here below the gutter, and it's pulled out all the way. But this slide, both of the screws are still in place. Which brings me to the issue with the, ow, tree grabbing me, brings me to the issue with the big slide topper. This one was totally fine when I was up here messing around with that one, uh, but then it rained and got more water on it and it just completely failed. But this one's even worse because not only is it pulled out here and completely just laying on the slide it also pulled out where the uh, screw is so the screw is here the fabric is completely detached so what am i going to do because i can't get fabric for three weeks two or three weeks at the most uh we move in two days uh, we leave williamsburg and we start heading south um so, what I'm gonna do is uh, the bedroom one I'm not worried about. It's much, much shorter. It's only 80 inches. And uh, the fabric for that one's already on its way to Florida. It'll meet us down there. Uh, and the screws are holding in that one. I'll keep an eye on it as we're moving and running the slide in and out. So I'm not too worried about that one. This one, however, with that screw having failed, uh, if we run this in, there's no guarantee that the drum as it's pulling on it, won't pull it out of the, tra uh, the track and then just completely hose everything. Because if these things lose tension, the springs go nuts and then it's a bad show. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I found the paperwork, the uh, service manual for this thing, and I'm going to have Aaron run the slide in as I keep tension where the screw should have been or should be holding it, I'm gonna keep tension there to get the slide in. Once the slide is in, I'm gonna disable the spring with a cotter pin. You just shove a cotter pin in and it locks everything in place. Then I'm gonna take the screws out, unhook the entire awning, or slide topper. Technically it's an awning, I guess, but I'm gonna unhook the entire slide topper, 
wrap the fabric around the drum, and zip tie it in place. And we just won't have a slide top around here until I can get new fabric and get it reinstalled. So that's what I'm gonna do. So step one is to get the slide in without A, without me getting hurt, and B, without that thing unwinding and causing a problem. If it does, it's not the end of the world, um, but I'd rather not deal with rewinding the spring. So let's get this thing closed up. I'm gonna be on the speakerphone with Erin. She's gonna go inside and uh, run the slide in real slow uh, while I hold on to it. <sighs> this is fun. Wow. All right, so the rig is running. Oh my God, the AC is peeing on me. So I don't know how this is still in the channel, but it is. No, no, it's not. It's not in the channel at all. <laughs> Slides in all the way? Slides in all the way. Okay. It's so brittle. Wow. Yeah, I'm just bending this and it's cracking with my fingers. So this is, uh, see how brittle this is? It's just cracking as I roll it in my fingers. See this? Wow. So yeah, okay, so now, um, now I need to figure out where Apparently there's a hole in here I can stick a cotter pin into. If you're wondering why I'm not on a ladder, uh, it's because I don't have one. Um, but I should be able to do everything I need to do right now from up here actually easier than from a ladder. Uh, once I have the cotter pin in here and the spring locked, I'm just gonna disconnect the fabric and zip tie it up. So it's actually easier to do from here. I don't have to move the ladder every three feet. Let's see if we can find this hole uh, for the cotter pin to go in. And uh, once I find it, I'll show it to you guys. Okay. Uh, I couldn't get the uh, cotter pin into the hole with the awning all the way up against the RV. Uh, let me get my phone out of the way before it falls off the rig. There's bees up here drinking water out of the gutter. It's kind of cool. Um, so anyway, uh, the uh, I had to have Aaron run it out. Um, this piece here presses against this panel as it comes in, and um, it basically just engages this like locking lug so this doesn't spin when you're driving down the road and the slide is in. But with that engaged, I couldn't get the hole to be lined up with the spindle like it needed to be to get this cotter pin in all the way. So I had her just run the slide out enough to disengage that. And then I could spin this by hand, get that cotter pin in. So this pin is gonna keep this drum from spinning when I detach that end of the awning. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some zip ties through this and around this just to keep it all in there, keep that pin from sliding out. And then I'm just gonna zip tie this fabric all the way up and uh, it should all be disengaged. Um, and then when it comes time to replacing the fabric, I will just uh, follow the instructions for putting new fabric on and put it back up here on the rig. Let's get this thing all secured and we'll get the fabric secured and we'll see what that looks like. Got a, I found there was a locking hole on this side too, so I locked both ends and I've zip tied the entire length. And uh, now we're gonna close the slide, make sure it closes all the way. Hello. Hey. Hey, go ahead and Hello. close it. Coming in. We're in all the way. Alrighty, everything looked good from up here when we ran it in. I've got Aaron looking downstairs. Does it look like the slide's in all the way? Okay. Go ahead and go in and run it out. I'm not worried about it going out at all because it's just going to go along for the ride. Here we go. Yep. Okay, the little pun plunger's moved out. You're good, keep going. Yeah, it's just going along for the ride. Out all the way? Out all the way. All right, I think we're done. Okay, that's uh. It appears to be done, so uh, not ideal, but I don't have fabric to put on there right now, so... Um, and I can't take the spindle off. I was thinking of just disabling it and taking the spindle off, but then where in the world am I going to put a 14-foot-long metal tube? So I figured 
let's just lock it in place. Hopefully the uh, seals on the slider are good enough to keep water out. They should be, because slide toppers are kind of an optional thing on RVs. Uh, the rear one, I'm not worried about. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as is. Sorry for all the sweat, it's hot up here. Um, I'm gonna leave the one over the bedroom as is. And, because uh, it's a lot shorter, both of the screws are still in place. I'll keep an eye on it. If I need to disable it now, I know what to do. I'm gonna go ahead and collect all of my tools and head downstairs. Look how wet, I, I am soaking wet because I had to lay right where the AC unit is discharging its, uh, its moisture into the gutter. So I was laying in that. I'm very, very wet, but it feels good because it's hot out here. So, um, all right, let's go ahead and go downstairs and uh, see what else is going on today. All done up top. Um, slide goes in and out just fine. The, yep. the awning is just zip tied weird. onto the barrel now and just rides in and out. So it is what it is until I can get new fabric. I measured it. It's 164, 164. inches. Um, this one here was 80, so about double. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. So uh, once I get new fabric, uh, my buddy down in Florida has got some ladders and we'll. We'll he's a roadrunner. Yeah, he he's is. The he is a roadrunner. OG he's the road original, runner. the original roadrunner. Yeah. And he's really tall and has ladders. So Yay! He'll be quite, quite useful for, <laughs> for slide topper work. Uh, so we are going to be heading south on Saturday. We are. We're heading south. Yep. In two days. Yep. Um, and uh, it's going to be an interesting drive. It's a long drive. It is a long drive. Break it up one night in South Carolina and then continue on to Florida. Yep. And we know Florida's a little crazy. Yeah. But we'll be safe. We'll be safe. Yep. We're not going anywhere crazy. We're not doing anything crazy. Nope. We're, we'll probably designate one person as the shopper. Yep. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just try to maximize yep. and safety. Like we, were, uh, like we were talking about the other day, we had we had started putting plans in motion earlier this year Yeah. that we just kind of have to ride with at this point. So, what's wrong, buddy? Is You'll be on camera. Can you say hi? Can you say hi real quick and then I'll take you in. Say hi. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, so but yeah, we uh, we put some plans in motion earlier this year uh, that were had us being in Florida for the winter, and uh, we can't really change them at this point. So we're just going to kind of ride with it, and uh, you kind of learn that with uh, with full timing. You learn to just kind of roll with it, and uh, if things don't work out, we'll just go somewhere else if we need to. Uh, okay. if hurricanes roll in because it is hurricane season until November. I'll just drive the rig away from the hurricane's path. It's a nice thing about hurricanes compared to like tornadoes. Yeah, you have a little bit you, of warning. You can see them coming <laughs> at least and have a little bit of an idea where they're right. going to be. So so yeah, Florida is probably not the best choice at the moment, uh, but that's uh, that's where we've cast our dice. So that's where we're going for now. Yep. Yep. So uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, this thing holds and uh, I, I don't foresee it coming off or anything being an issue. It is zip tied. I've got like 12, 12 zip ties on <laughs> yeah. it, so <laughs> it ain't going anywhere. Nope. Uh, so hopefully it makes it and we can get some new fabric and the new fabric should be nice and tight. I'm, I'm not buying replacement fabric from this company. I am buying aftermarket upgraded fabric. And once that comes in, we'll talk about what company and if I like it or anything like that. What are we doing tonight? Uh, we're having dinner with Roadrunners. We are. We're having dinner with some Roadrunners. Yay! And uh, we've actually met up with uh, several of our Roadrunners while we've been here. It's been wonderful. Yeah, it's been great. So, so uh, yeah. if you if you want to join the Roadrunners and, you know, we're in your area, we'll do what we can to say hey. We love to meet you. Yeah. And uh, so check us out, 5 togocom slash Roadrunners. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you don't know what that is, it's a just a group. Uh, it's what we call the people that back us on Patreon. Yep. Um, they just for a couple bucks a month you get access to like private chat Us. channels uh, we do <laughs> monthly giveaways we do um, exclusive videos we send stickers and other little things live chat yeah live chat yeah we do live chats twice mm -hmm. a month so uh, if you're interested in that just check it out yeah. and uh, otherwise uh, we will see you guys in the next episode